and Joe Drewer heavily favored to win it coming in and indeed on top halfway through. Let's take a closer look at Susie and Joe with Donna Deverona. What could these cadets of the United States Air Force Academy possibly have in common with the National Ice Dance champions Susie Wynn and Joe Drewer? It may seem incongruous, but they all train inside this mammoth field house at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. This one building holds a rink, a basketball arena, and a practice area the size of a football field. Susie Wynn and Joe Drewer came to train here a year and a half ago with their coach Sandra Hess and eight top ice dance couples from Detroit. They were in search of a training center where they wouldn't be forced to skate in the middle of the night in a dark, dreary rink. I, I feel like I died and went to heaven. Yeah. When I walked in, I said, no. Is there another rink, like in the basement, that we're going to have to train in? So we're just really lucky to, to be a part of this. The biggest benefit is that there are no more wasted hours on the road because everything they need is here under one roof. Ballet, weight training, and a rigorous strength and conditioning program which ice dancers aren't used to. It's run by Air Force coach Kim Goss and designed to increase their flexibility. Nine. After working with cadets, he wasn't Ten. very impressed. Unquestionably, the ice dancers were the worst conditioned athletes I have ever seen. But we developed a program for them, and they've improved quite a bit in terms of strength and speed and stamina. It's kind of hard being down in the weight room, though, once in a while when you have all the football team and the linebackers in there. And they weigh 300 pounds, and they're bench pressing, you know, 350, <laughs> and I'm down there doing about, you know, 185, 200, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Even so, the skaters have been motivated by the work ethic that surrounds them. What they didn't expect to find was their own fan club, cadets who pride themselves on discipline pretty inspirational seeing them you know get after it like they do out here and they, they come in I'll be walking in at five in the morning and they've already been here for an hour so you know, I'm, I'm impressed impressed only with their dedication there must be something else too Just just having a bunch of great looking girls out on ice <laughs> <laughs> well the hockey team practices their stick work Susie and Joe work on their footwork this year they will be unveiling something new tap dancing first they had to learn how to do it on the floor and that wasn't easy but as it turned out that may have been the easiest part it's very hard to take tap from the floor to the ice because they're entirely different mediums they move differently uh, so we had to kind of adjust a little bit but it, it ended up working whether it works out well enough for them to regain their title, they still know that as they are out there skating, they have the support of some 4,400 cadets behind them. The next couple representing the Broadmoor Skating Club. And now on the ice, Club. ready to begin Susie their Wynn performance in Drew. Salt Lake City. Susie Wynn, 24 years old. Joe Drewer. 27 years old, the national champions in 1989, the runners-up in 1988. Last year in the world championships, they were fifth, and here they go.
Susie Wynn, Joe Drewer, their long program and ice dancing, the leaders at this point in the competition, skating together for 10 years. great things about them is the sharpness and clarity of their movement. They've worked very hard on tap dancing, short steps. to get a standing ovation from most of the crowd here at the Saw Palace. And you saw Christy Yamaguchi, part of the uh, pair's tandem, along with Rudy Galindo, that won a gold medal the other night, saluting them as well. in the technical merit category. And that gives them exactly, if they go the same route the second time around, exactly a tenth of a point across the board for each of the subsequent skaters. But these marks are high, very consistent, and very good. And we'll see composition and style right now. They certainly do not appear to have opened the door for anybody else. Uh, but there's, there's room. For every, for every one of the following skaters mathematically. Yeah, mathematically. Those are nice. Mm -hmm. 